All right. Thing, let me see, because I think no one else should join because the other guy said he will not be here. Maybe next one. All right. Oh, well. All right. So uh, I'll do the introduction and I will, I will wear my smile. All right. Welcome to the webinar. Just a couple of words before starting. Again, this is the second webinar in a three-part series regarding role-play games in educational settings. I'm Manuel, I'm with ASNU, uh, Italian NGO, which is part of the project. With me there are Kat Katia, Katerina, Polina, Lukasz, which are part of the Animus Foundation in Poland. And this is all part of the CARE project, which is a uh, yeah, climate action role-playing experience, which is an Erasmus Plus funded program. So. Last time we talked about the design and the mechanics in the first part of the webinar. Now we're talking about facilitation, right? Yes. What's up? Yeah. Uh, we try to to do as much as possible interesting thing, and we also expect um, your question and uh, uh, all fruitful discussions to the mm, to the topic. Okay. So today we uh, we are speak about facilitation of role play games, and uh, I would like to ask you: Do you see my screen? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah. I do at least. So. Yeah. Okay. So um. And uh, today we have some plan. I hope we uh, we cope everything. We cover uh, all all uh, topics. And um, I hope you have a lot of uh, cases and questions for all of them. Uh, so we will speak about what is it, education and games. Uh, also about experiential learning. Uh, we speak about the type of role play games, uh, facilitating role play games, role of, facil of the game facilitator, debriefing uh, part in the role play games, difficulties and challenges in facilitating role play game uh, facilitator mistakes uh, tips for facilitator some useful materials uh, and uh, question answer uh, how does it sound awesome cool Seems clear. Let's, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's start so I uh, also um, introduce myself. So uh, I'm an expert in educational uh, field and psychology field. Uh, also, I'm a trainer in uh, non-formal education. And uh, connecting to the um, gamification and uh, educational games, I develop more than 50 games, educational games and psychology games. And that's why I, I know something about role-play games. Uh, I I think I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, what is um, education and games? Uh, one big word what is connect uh, between each other between education and games is a process, because uh, you can find a lot of a lot of definitions, uh, some explanation what is education, what is a game, but all of them about that 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 is a process. And I think it's uh, main uh, thing what is a uh, make connection between uh, this uh, process of uh, what I want to learn and uh, how I want to learn. And I'm totally sure that the game uh, games and gamification it's super help for um, for people to go deeper to the topic. Uh, in our project, we speak about the ecological uh, game, yeah, ecological um, question and how game, ecological game, role play game have opportunity to uh, to uh, go deeper and understanding better ecological uh, ecological issue. And it's also process. Uh, also, what why we are, uh, speak about the experiential learning? We are totally sure, uh, sure about that uh, experiential learning uh, process. If you know something about it, also tell me. If you don't know, also tell me. M maybe we can go much deeper. Uh, um, some experiential learning cycle have four stages. Um, concrete experience, reflective ref uh, reflection, uh, conceptualization and active experimentation. 
And uh, nowadays, uh, non-formal education, I'm totally sure, have to be according to the experiential learning cycle. So all um, all educational process according to this. In this case, it's uh, super connect that the role play games uh, have to be have all of the stages for four stages or for uh, for points how how you wish to call it, because uh, only in this um, this cycle, let's say. Uh, participants have opportunity to uh, receive experience, to uh, reflect, some uh, have ex some experimentation, and also apply to real life. How to connect? Okay, now we are in the game, but how it's possible to connect to the real life? Yeah, how to apply in real life? And in this case, in experience, uh, experiential learning cycle have opportunity to give participants to understand. Um, to feel, yeah, to uh, to try to do something, and to have some plan what I can do in the future, in my life or in my community. According to this experiential learning cycle, we also have some um, some styles, learning styles. Why I include in, uh, in in our webinar because it's super important to understand who is a. Uh, people inside your, your group, yeah. So with whom you play, and um, uh, some of them are more talkative, yeah. Some of them more observing. Some of them more reflecting. Some of them are more acting. And according to experience learning theory, uh, some uh, nine learning styles. Uh, and as you see on the screen, so some of them. Uh, not some of them, all of them have names. Yes, yeah, so some uh, exper experiencing, balancing, reflecting, and etc. Uh, this is according to in which stages uh, in experiential learning cycle participant um, start to, um, let's say, switch on the light in their head and how they starting to uh, be active Yeah, in, the, in which stages. Maybe do you have some questions? No? Maybe, maybe we can you can keep Not it yet, actually. if you want. Okay. I'm I'm writing them when they okay. Come, okay. You want, as okay. you want. You, yeah. I don't yeah, want to interrupt can... the, the presentation if you yeah. if okay, you, okay. As you feel. Uh also according to this uh, during this presentation, you can you can also collect your cases and we can also discuss what is what it was mistakes or what not mistake because uh in our webinar all of uh, all of us try to provide some games, role play games, yeah. So and uh, maybe we can also say something uh, together what it was, how it was, and uh, how to possible to improve something. Yeah, for me personally, for me as for educator, all uh, role play games uh, have two directions. <laughs> it's educational games and other games. Yeah, so I know that uh, some uh, games most let's say uh, most famous. Yeah, uh, like D&D or Mafia or some other games. But uh, educational games not so super popular because uh, they have a little bit different uh, goal, let's say. And that's why um, and that's why um, not so much uh, uh, people know some, some certain game and, uh, okay, I play in this educational game and it was amazing. Yes, so usually you see it in civic society world. Uh, maybe you, you have a por opportunity to also hear it in a, um, some non-formal educational field um, between trainers or youth workers or some uh, young leaders or young activists. But uh, if we speak about the popularity some uh, some some popular um, popular field let's say so it's uh, almost impossible to have some uh, 1 million subscribers um, yeah, some youtube canal of educational game yeah uh, mm, and about facilitation yeah so if you speak about facilitation, so uh, you can uh, find also a lot of uh, definitions of facilitation. What it means, what does it mean, facilitation? Uh, what I want to share with you, it's um, um, let's say helps to improve collaboration, generates results, and uh, improves groups dynamics, and. Uh, 
it's a, also process to uh, to help to easy achieve some goal of the group yeah so it's a main uh, main thing what i want to mention about the uh, facilitation in general generally and uh, the role of the game facilitator yeah so of course uh, a lot of uh, also materials you can find in internet i speak uh, from practical uh, things so from uh, our testing uh, from our um, a lot of let's say resources uh, practical researcher um, experience and uh, how we also create the games how we test the, uh, them and how we implement also the games these games and uh, from uh, my personal opinion and also our team this is conditions what a facilitator have to create uh, we speak about not conditions only room or something like this we also speak about the uh, the conditions uh, moral conditions as well yeah uh, we speak about the active participation of participants so uh, fac role of facilitator to um, to engage uh, and to, to to give opportunity um, as much as possible active participation in the process yeah because as as you saw on the previous slides experiential learning is from experience yeah so and in this case educational game have to give yeah and have to uh, create opportunity to receive this experience and the role of facilitator to activate uh motivation let's say also uh, from participants uh also participants feeling that the game is important because sometimes also uh when when we speak about educational games some fac facilitators uh make it like a fun and uh, like a friends uh, friends sit sitting at home and do something and it's cool but it's not an educational game yeah so in an educational game uh facilitator uh he or she not a friend yeah you see uh, he or she a facilitator uh, and let's say uh, more close to observator not for not for participants of participants friend and um when facilitator explains the rules or prepare the game it's very important uh, things and uh, participants all of participants who will participate in game feel that this game is important uh, how to possible to do it it's also possible about voice about some uh, some signs from uh, gesture from uh, from facilitator also elements possible to uh, to use some elements in game uh, when we speak about the care game uh, in this project uh there are very interesting elements about the painting of this uh, forest and it's also uh, give opportunity to go deeper um, uh, to to feel this game important from participant side and these elements uh, it's interesting to uh, to also go deeper to role uh, from participant side and observation of course because sometimes even uh, uh, not one facilitator need but need some extra observator if we speak about the big group if we speak about the um, some sensitive topic as well so depend on the game sometimes uh, possible not only one person who uh, who will be facilitator okay um now to go to also important uh, part about debriefing because uh, usually uh, one of the biggest uh, problem of facilitators is debriefing um, unfortunately um, uh, not even all facilitators have debriefing part when they play a uh, role play game uh, when, they, when they provide a role play game and um, I took uh, one of the model of the briefing because uh, also you can uh, find a lot of different model I think and I also use this model of the briefing and I uh, suggest to use it so we speak about uh, remembering reflecting conceptualization associating transforming and planning 
yeah it's so uh, if you see um attentive so you see also connection between experiential learning and uh, and this model because it's based on experiential learning cycle and uh, let's go a little bit deeper what is the questions about debriefing because uh, sometimes very hard to um, find uh, let's say questions and um uh, which questions I have to ask participants yeah, who uh, participate in game. So if you speak about remembering, yeah, so we speak about feel. What do you feel now? How? What is clear after listening on a structure of game? Yeah, uh, What did you expect? Uh, what is happening in the game start? Yeah, you know, How you feel during the game? Uh, what did you do? Uh, what did you feel? What did you think? So it's about remembering. So this part important because on this stage we start to uh, from the beginning. So we start debriefing from the beginning how it was started. Uh, why we do it? Because sometimes um, some part of participants lost in the beginning. Uh, maybe you can uh, also remember some experience uh, of when you was facilitator when some uh, in the beginning some participants in the group didn't participate even they sit they didn't do nothing and um, and that's all uh, as you remember the experiential learning cycle so uh, and i also say that nine uh, different styles of uh, learning so all of us have different uh, learning styles it's also about this so some of participants start a little bit later so some participants uh, uh, need some time to to this, but it not it it not doesn't mean that they didn't participate. Their process of educational process they started, but in a little bit different way. Mm, reflecting, yeah. So in this um, in this case, we need to speak about the uh, also feeling and experience. Uh, why did you feel like this? Yeah, so some uh, some a little bit analyze this uh, feeling. Why? Why do you think uh, you had this experience uh, about that? What they what they receive? Uh, why did you act like this? So uh, maybe some actions from participant. How? how why? Why they uh, motivation? Let's say do like this. Uh, what What is the reason for this result? Yeah. Mm. conceptualization so uh, from experience to new concept yeah so what uh, does this experience and what we talk about tell us yeah so and uh, participants need to speak what i want to mention and uh, mm, uh, say that uh, all participants it's ideality model let's say uh, all participants need to speak on the briefing part and uh, one of the mistakes also from uh, from facilitator sometimes facilitator uh, don't have um, don't don't give or don't allow all of participants to speak but it's super important because especially on this part the briefing part role play game also uh, also important because if we want to uh, understand and uh, if participants want to um, connect the, this period of uh, let's say uh, experimentation or active participation to real life we need to understand how it, um, how it's to connect and only in this process we have to do this bridge between this uh, experience part and uh, future uh, associating yeah so here also possible to uh, to, to to say some uh, about the uh, while uh, this concept help you to more co uh, com competent in this matter and so on yeah so um, about behavior also uh why it's why it was good why it was not good and and so on uh 
transforming, uh, so transforming the reality, the reality. Uh, do you feel the motivation may make to make a learning plan? Yeah. So uh, where can you we use this learning uh, in your life? So in this case, it's possible to uh, create already how um, how this game yeah to to let's say push to understand reality yeah, to to have some uh, some plan to reality to real plan uh, and planning here yeah, so uh, according to this uh, uh, part so um, also possible to participants have some plan here yeah, so they have opportunity to uh, maybe even plan uh, some somehow their plans some uh, some of the suggestions on this stage they even possible to write this plan yeah for them so to to make some of this uh, uh, let's say reflection on the paper yeah so what they uh, want to uh, to to do uh, next uh, steps maybe do you have some questions for now i'm writing them do you want okay, to okay. a moment of questions now or you want it yet no, no, I think we can uh, finish the presentation and uh, I, I try to do it as much as possible quickly. And we no, can, no, 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 you don't need to rush, I think. Just take your time and also because maybe I ask you something that to explain later. That's why yeah, maybe. Not, I don't want to interrupt you, you know, because then, uh, uh, but, but uh, yeah, if the, if you want like this, we can just finish it and then have a little talk, but take your time. Don't, don't feel rushed, please. Thanks. Okay, difficulties and challenges in facilitating. It's very interesting, just so you know that uh, I like it. It's very interesting. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Uh, so, lack of facilitator preparation. Important thing because um, sometimes uh, what uh, uh, what we see also uh, sometimes it's lack of really a lack of preparation. Some games possible be uh, much interesting if facilitator will be prepared. It's not about only about materials of game. It's not about room. Sometimes it's even moral preparation. Yes, yeah? so some voice, some resting, even. Uh, what I s suggest to do um, before game role play game because it's super energetic cost let's say psychology costs yes uh, moral cost from uh from the person from facilitator that's why uh, my suggestion to have a little bit rest so before i'll play game uh, maybe half hour one hour take some maybe small walk maybe some uh, some uh, some do something uh, other not only uh, concentrate about role play game why because uh, it's also um, we also speak about concentration we also speak about the educational process we also speak about the uh, group dynamic and etc etc and that's why we need some um, important let's say concentration uh, in the process that's why we need some um, before some rest yeah um a lack, a lack uh, of no knowing uh, the target group yeah so sometimes um especially for educators uh who provide a lot of role play games or play every two three days some games sometimes uh people forgot about them uh, who will be uh, players who will be participants of the game and uh, it's important thing to understand that uh what is the age yeah maybe we need some um adopt the game to to some target group yeah maybe we need to adopt about amount of people uh, and it's also important thing because sometimes uh, less people come in sometimes more ki people come in and uh, it's also connecting with preparation because uh, why i put uh, se separately because uh, it's uh, one of the important uh, point of preparation about the target group and uh, sometimes uh, also facilitator have some challenges in mixed group, uh, especially if facilitator didn't have opportunity before or didn't have experience before to uh, to work with different ages and work, for example, only with teenagers or only with um, seniors, let's say. So uh, 
it's also uh, hard to uh, to to do some uh, let's say adopting this game to to reality to the, to uh, to certain group, and uh, it's also possible, but uh, need to uh, need to learn who will be participants. Yeah, you need to know before the uh, people come to the room, and uh, debriefing of course because. Um, majority of the facilitators uh, usually have a problems with the debriefing part. Um, of course, it's main difficulties and challenges which which uh, which I put here. Uh, in uh, certain cases, and uh, of course, some other difficulties. You you also have opportunity to to share your difficulties and challenges, and we can make some uh, suggestion together how we can how we can cope with them with them and how we can manage um, them. Mistakes. Uh, here also some of them. Of course, not all of them, uh, because in uh, some uh, games uh, um, possible to, to do maybe something, uh, um, something else, <laughs> some, um, some other mistakes. Okay, taking away attention during the game. So uh, why here Kron? Because sometimes facilitator simic uh, he or she queen or king, yeah. And it's also one of the mistake and uh, one of the main mistake because facilitator don't have take so much attention from participants. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, facilitators stand in the uh, center of the room or uh, somewhere in uh, some visible position, but it not means it not doesn't mean that uh, he or she uh, king of the room. Yeah? Uh, distract participants from the game. So sometimes some comments from facilitator, some uh, some uh, even physical contact during the game, some some touching participants and so on. So it's super uh, distort participants and also sometimes. Mm, it's also uh, take away from the role uh, because some some games have to be go deeper and deeper to the role and uh, sometimes facilitate or disturb yeah uh, directing how to participate should play his or her role um, one of the also huge big mistake uh, to to gi uh, to give some instruction, you have to be um, some learner, let's say, or king, or some other person, uh, and uh, you have to you have to do something like this. So, in this case, this educational component, let's say, or um, like dis distracting, yeah. So, um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, sometimes it's also happening from facilitators. Directing how to participants should play, and sometimes uh, facilitator also go to, into the room and say you need to, to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, and uh, uh, in educational games, it's uh, it's not good, <laughs> let's say, yeah. So because uh, in this case, this concept of experiential learning, this concept uh, to uh, to receive this experience. Mm, according to the uh, conditions, according to the abilities of participants, it's um, almost impossible because it's like a pro-action, let's say, yeah, or some uh, some pictures from facilitator to uh, to people who participate, yeah, participants. Uh, trying to be uh, to build friendly relationship with participants, uh, it's also one of the mistake because sometimes uh, facilitator thinks that he or she friend. And we need to make some uh, good relationship. And during the game, when I will be a facilitator, I will do like this. So unfortunately, it's not like this. And I need to see this, um, let's say, uh, all people in the room, all people in the game have to have to know, know their roles and facilitator as well. Uh, do not provide debriefing here. Yeah. And... Uh, um, I think every third game, uh, role play game, unfortunately, uh, not have debriefing, and um, this is one of the big mistake from facilitator side, uh, not provide the debriefing. Okay. 
tips for facilitator. Also, here only some of them, of course. Um, good preparation. Uh, all things about it here. So moral preparation, uh, physical preparation also. So maybe some uh, um, also space preparation, uh, elements preparation, everything preparation. Yeah. So um, sometimes I'm joking that uh, preparation uh, is a mother of uh, victory. Yeah. So uh, we have to be prepared. Understanding the profile of participants. So uh, from my suggestion to really to know the list of participants and their age. And uh, of course, if you have opportunity to receive some uh, few, uh, few sentences about their experience or motivation to participate in the game, so it's perfect. But uh, of course, sometimes it's not possible. But uh, if you know, let's say, age, you already more or less uh, possible to orient it to uh, to how how you can um, how you uh, how you have to behave how you have to uh, adopt this game for for the group yeah and of course amount of participants because it's also important sometimes facilitator come to to room and even don't know how many people uh, will come. Sometimes it happens if uh, you're not organizer, yeah. Uh, but uh, from my point of view, you need to to do as much as possible efforts, let's say, to connect with organizers and say that it's super important to the to the quality of the game and uh, for results. Um, uh, setting the conditions so. Uh, here also all conditions here yeah? so uh, atmosphere um, room elements uh, some uh, printing materials if it's needed and so on so all conditions what is needed uh, getting out of role or sometimes we call it washing of role um, depend on the game uh, but uh, majority of the games have to have this washing role because we don't know what is the ex what is experience yeah what is the background of participant and sometimes uh, we speak about educational games um, about some sensitive topic yeah we speak about some tolerance some non discriminating uh, some gender equality or some non violent uh, and so on so um and in this case we have to understand that uh washing of the role have to be because uh some of uh, participants have even uh, have some traumatic experience let's say and take this experience in real life if we not uh do as much as possible efforts to to clean this role let's say after after this uh, educational game experience and of course, debriefing. Debriefing is important. Um, but I, I want, like, with uh, a lot of flags to around this world, be uh, world because uh, uh, debriefing part it's a super important part, and it's one of the main tips from my side to facilitate. Uh, and some useful materials I want to show you, and uh, I prepare one of them with the gaming EU. It's uh, from uh, from uh, Michal Petschok. Uh, he developed this. Um, he developed this, and here you can find a lot of uh, good things. Uh, for example, here you can find um, a game uh, about um, volunteering. So evaluation of volunteering experience. Yeah. So if you uh, interested in this, uh, here you can uh, possible to. To find uh, here also you can uh, also possible to find the resources. Why I put it about the materials because here you can find a lot of resources for educators, for facilitators, um, for gaming. Yeah, here you can uh, possible to find this uh, pedagogy uh, of of oppressed. Um, a lot of uh, experiential learning materials a lot of uh, game concepts uh, different uh, different styles so about the uh, computer games about the role play games about the educational games about the boarding games so you can find a lot of a lot of materials here so 
uh, and uh, I really suggest to go to uh, here and um, and uh, if if you're interested in game development, uh, so it's interesting to learn. And my contacts, and and that's all. I try to be as much as uh, possible quickly <laughs> with presentation. Oh. I hope you not sleep. Paulina, thank you for presentation because design of this presentation from Paulina's side. Thank you, Paulina. Yeah, cool. I, I guess we will do a, a lot of this stuff in Croatia too, right? I mean, it's, we will go in deep. In uh, the, about in, debating? Yes, I of course. I, I, really, uh, I really can provide some uh, even uh, one day or how, how you wish, how you need, uh, what about the needs? Yeah, so if your team uh need to this so of course so how you wish all all things all cases we can um we can open <laughs> yeah because i think it's very interesting and you seem like it's something so crucial inside the whole uh, we can even provide thing. some uh, session of experiential learning if i think i can possible to provide yeah yeah, yeah yeah cool so um questions <laughs> question from others otherwise it's just me I'm not sure that you can hear me because I'm having problem with my connection. Actually, I have some question. Starting from the start, um, you say that there are people that uh, have a kind of uh, you know learning different that is different. You have someone that is more reflexive, someone that talks mm -hmm. a lot, and so on. Um, this is actually something that uh, has happened in one of the play tests. We had the guy that was very very silent even in the, the briefing, also during the game, and uh, how we can help this kind of person to express themselves or, you know, be, be part of the group? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, what I want to tell is that uh, uh, not make mistakes to push people, to press people, of course, and so on. So because you never know what is the background of this person, maybe some this of this some part of your game is already traumatic experience before. So you uh, and it's a super sensitive topic, if, especially for this person. And this person, let's say, take place as an observator. Yes. Yeah? So let's say to 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 see yeah. how it's possible to to receive new experience in game uh, conditions. And it's also it's also good because this person take what what she or he want to take second secondly what i want to tell is that of course the role of facilitator as i said before to uh, to switch on the button let's say to to involve as much as possible yeah but also need to need to uh, super press so sometimes um, person have opportunity to uh, let's say silence during the game yeah, it's also according to style of learning style, but in the briefing part you can open, and this person have opportunity to open. Depend on the uh, this first point, so depend on the background of uh, of this person, and also about the experience in educational games. Also need to understand that a facilitator not need to take this. Uh, role of the I I teach you something you know so you have to participate no because sometimes for some people it's first experience so really first experience and role play and they don't know how to play they even don't know what is mean what does it mean role play game and um, from my point of view uh, in board game it's a little bit different uh, point so you have some elements you have some uh, some some instructions you have some points you have some in role play not all role play games have points not ro all role play games have some elements yes so different role play games and in these cases uh, some people um, some some people need to 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 find their place in the uh, let's say in that room uh, uh, in uh, in this process so in this case uh, um, what I want to say, so give opportunity this participant be human <laughs> so, to, to, to take this. Because, of course, if uh, you receive group who all of them like this, so it's a little bit different thing. So need to need to do something with this. Of course, it's role of uh, role of, uh, of facilitator to maybe explain twice or maybe 
maybe to do something in this in this case also sometimes some difficult situation can happen yes yeah? some conflicts about even sometimes some facilitator in my case i didn't have this but uh, i know from other colleagues who say that Sometimes even physical uh, conflicts are impossible in role play games. So super active for players. Uh, in this case, of course, if you speak about the uh, role of facilitator, so in this case, to need some react, of course, um, some urgent, uh, urgent reaction. Let's say. Actually, the second question was if they are too many of them in the same group. So you already said that, and uh, that's okay. It's fine. Uh, yeah, pushing is not the answer. Actually, the the person has to be you know confident in the situation mm -hmm. and so on. So it's fine, and we I understood that. And um, what if the opposite? Uh, uh, you know, you have the opposite kind of person, someone that takes too much space uh, mm -hmm. during the game or during the debriefing, how you can mitigate it without saying something like shut up, <laughs> actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think I also separated for two uh, answers, let's say, or two parts of uh, answer. First part, it's uh, depend on the who exactly these participants, because sometimes these participants uh, possible be friend, colleague, neighbor, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, uh, husband, and uh, etc. Yes. Yeah? So, and sometimes these participants uh, exactly want to provocate facilitator and want to take attention from facilitator. And uh, in this case, uh, I think it's also um, have to be. Uh, moral preparation on facilitator to understand that uh, some of <laughs> participants have um, don't have feel and maybe uh, don't have opportunity to allow, let's say, uh, from psychology side to 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 be uh, his or her friend or some other role uh, uh, be facilitator. Yes, yeah? sometimes it's possible like this. And uh, second uh, thing, so it's it's one point. It's also important thing because sometimes facilitator invite uh, in game some really friends or some con uh, people with whom connect, and it's sometimes it's difficult. Depends on the person, of course. Yeah. So I mean, uh, this participant. And second thing, if we speak about the unknown group yeah so you go as an educator uh, to facilitate some game with some some target group. And in this case, uh, you only lose uh, only lose this process. So um, if it's of, of course it's if it's safety for other people. So if it's not fighting, yeah, so if it's not some uh, some 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 really strange situation. Uh, I mean, in a, in about safety or something like this, because meaning of role play so people play as as they know and as they understood and in the briefing part they receive uh, also some uh, let's say not feedback but uh, as, as the people also will think about uh, speak about their feelings yeah, their experience how the, about behavior and, and so on and this person also have to speak about this that's why i said that a role of facilitator to open and uh, he, uh, give opportunity to everybody say as much as possible even if, uh, even if silence uh, during the brief so okay we will wait and uh, and some people need time to think in and after this this person have opportunity to open why i behave I, like this yeah why i understood my role like this yeah and um, uh, that's why uh give them opportunity to play and after this uh take this part as the briefing part to also show not only for yourself why, why he or she behave like this but also for group that it's in reality in real life sometimes mm, sometimes people will be not uh, not react or behave as you wish yes and sometimes people see their or his role uh, like, like they see so i i hope i answer for uh, yeah you did uh, actually i was thinking about yeah the let them talk during the debriefing is a good idea actually you can use uh you know if someone is very loud or during the game or maybe is more central uh, as personality and so on it can be an a good idea to talk about that in the debriefing so we can 
be part of the group and you know take some strength from that but um the point is that in actually for care we are going to try it in into the school and um i don't know uh, they they w- will be a group that uh, you know they know each other they already are have some kind of situation going and the interpersonal rap, um, you know interpersonal um, feelings and i'm scared about saying something like that because you know uh, in school everything is a little bit different it can be dangerous to to take to the emotional parts don't you think so uh, do you think you have a you know you have to stop somewhere i don't want to create some you know situation between the guys you're saying how would you facilitate yeah. differently yes. in the case of people from schools and not also because if i can add mm-hmm. this little thing mm-hmm. usually non formal education as you also uh, told me is about people who are willing to participate in the activity mm-hmm. but in school it's more borderline because the participants oftentimes are not really ha- haven't chosen to be there so would you approach them differently knowing this mm-hmm. thing? So, uh of course if you have conditions to take these participants out of the school it will be perfect why because usually people in sc- inside school um behavioral different as uh, the same as the family yeah so in at home you behave uh in this uh sometimes in at school or university you behave like this i don't want to say that all all people uh do like this but we also play sometimes some roles let's say yeah so i mean roles of student or roles of uh, young person or roles some somehow and um that's why it's one of the perfect uh, <laughs> perfect suggestion to take people out of the school sometimes uh, possible even if you role play game possible to play uh, in the park because some of them possible yeah so possible to do like this yeah so if it's uh, good weather if it's uh, good conditions and so on if you have some youth center also possible to take them for, to youth center or to office of NGO or something like this okay we speak about perfect conditions in this case okay so uh, as i think it's about you don't have opportunity to take them out of the school and um, uh, in this case try to do uh, space not the similar as in class so take not in the same class if they learn for example if they have some other class what they not use as l- learners yes yeah? so, or like learn class even if you take this class when they learn as a learners okay it's like <laughs> worst <laughs> options uh, you have opportunity to uh, to um, redesign let's say uh, this this classroom so it's also important thing because it's also about conditions so uh, set the tables in different way uh, maybe some some set la- some extra light or even uh, switch off the light if it's possible if it's okay with the um, daily light or something like this so you have opportunity to see how it's work and uh, about this um, school but as i understood uh, from fabia it's also not about the conditions of uh, yeah. class it's also <laughs> about the people who it's know each other People. yeah because mm-hmm. they know really well each other and mm-hmm. that can be a problem if uh, if do you know there are some mechanisms inside the, mm-hmm. the classroom that can mm-hmm. make someone mm-hmm. uh you know okay. stronger or uh... I, I understand question and sometimes what i do yeah uh if I know that uh, I also use work in the past, very active, I mean, uh, so go to school and take these people from the school or some university and uh, take to your centers so your spaces or enjoy. Yeah? And now we also do like this in Poland. So uh, we go to some uh, school and the universities and take people and uh, some of them stay with us. Yeah? So some of them we b- build a, a community and some of, uh, some of them part of our community but of course it's long term process and uh, about you about answer to your question so uh, what i do i provide some small uh, activities like energizers uh, like um let's say peer to peer or uh, equality yeah to build equality what it, what does it mean equality it means i want to know names 
and let's say to play a name game yeah so uh, uh because for you 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 know on you need to know only my name yeah but for me i need to know all of you yeah so let's let's be in equal position yeah so let's play something of course it's if conditions and time uh possible to do it yeah so it's also will be a little bit warm up because uh, you do something unusual for them because of course you go to their territory you go to their already community they know each other they have some rules jokes uh, and something like this and you like a, a person who 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 jump to to to, to the forest and need to uh, jump again yeah so uh, out uh, let's say and in this case uh, much better to provide something of course if you have time to possibly to provide some a few of them yeah some few uh, few activities uh, some energizer some name game some maybe expectation possible to also uh, to uh, to collect depend uh, depend on the of course your um, uh, let's say your time ability uh, ability of space ability of so in this case also my suggestion to prepare preparation have to be much deeper because if you go to a group who know each other and uh, they are already let's say they see each other five uh, five times per uh, per week yeah and you see them only first time so for facilitator of course it will be much difficult also one of the suggestions what possible to do mix so take half of them and half of other classes let's say mix and next time or in the same time if you go together let's say so let's say manuel take half class of one class and half class on one class and uh, uh, second part from two classes or three classes you took this uh, there guys so in this case the, it's also challenging for them so you put also some challenge for them even if they don't uh, they already know also each other yeah but uh, it's also possible not some uh, usual situation so yeah the, this is a very good idea uh, mixing two classes breaks the rules so it will be easier for them to play because they are no more in a you know a static situation with a community that is formed. So it's actually a very, very good idea. <laughs> yeah. And also, Indiana... oh, sorry. No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, one of the suggestion, if you want, also uh, you can also play online. If you can adopt your game. Uh, uh, to online because for example this volunteering game which i which i showed you uh from michael he he developed this game uh for volunteering experience it's very interesting game because it's questions and it's for let's say debriefing of uh, reflecting of, of your experience but uh, he have printing this game uh, as a cards uh, and uh, volunteer volunteers have opportunity to play between each other let's say or inside NGO, but also possible to play it online. Yeah, so you, you need to click it. Yeah, and in this case, if you have opportunity, next step, yeah, maybe next project to adopt this game on online. Yeah, so you also have opportunity to collect these people from different classes, different, even different cities. Yeah, so in this case, you, you receive mixed group and if you have opportunity even providing in zoom yeah let's say so ability of zoom possible to provide this uh, for example care game possible to um to provide in zoom yeah but need some some elements to uh, some maybe some um, points how you can uh, calculate or something like this but it's also some small issue let's say yeah sure that's that's true Thank I would you, think so. Uh, I really like the idea that basically what you said is also during the workshop, which is the phase before the game, if you can't take them out of the school, change this, the surrounding and the dynamics so they don't feel that they are in the same place, change the people they're with, change the setting and everything. What do you think though about the teacher, like the, their usual teacher? You know, mm -hmm. the one that is usually with them, which sometimes is night, sometimes is a is a real problem for facilitators as well. How do you deal with like, do you try to keep them out to remove the school feeling or you keep them because mm -hmm. they know the participants better, usually, ideally? Uh, before I answer, I said that I have pedagogical uh, education, so as well. Uh, so all pedagogics who will see this webinar, please not uh, 
put pomidoro in my face all the no, no, no. Uh, sometimes they're awesome <laughs> sometimes they're difficult it's just uh, just yeah. my, my experience <laughs> yeah but it's of course a joke but uh, my, from my experience and from mm -hmm. uh, my point of view uh use work and uh, non-formal education outside uh, the school outside outside because uh <clears throat> non-formal education about also conditions so it's also choice yes yeah? so person who uh, will uh, receive non-formal education it's person who voluntarily want to receive it mm -hmm. yeah so voluntarily go to this it's main one of the main points of non-formal education yeah so uh, anybody not press you to re to go to training course and you have to so and so on yeah so uh it's uh, it's important thing and also about the conditions so these conditions have to be uh not let's say traumatic or something like this so these conditions have to be um, uh, comfortable and uh, um, enough to receive some uh, some experience from non-formal education process yeah so and in this case in this case uh, according to a question so teacher so okay if we speak about the same person yes yeah, so the same teacher who uh, want to provide your game uh, let, let's speak about care game yeah so if you give uh, all instruction about care game to school and some teacher want to provide this for uh, his or her class yeah in this case uh, it's it's my personal professional opinion let's say yeah uh, i suggest to mix why because it's super hard uh, if especially if this person already five years with this class yeah mm -hmm. or some years of this class so it's really hard uh, to 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 change this role for one game yeah so if you want to uh, of course it's possible to provide of course maybe it's uh, for some uh, experience will be good so i i don't want to say that only the only need mix and so on no of course uh, especially for certain cases we need to speak <laughs> we need to speak yeah so uh, but uh, for mixing uh, or uh, take out, even if the teacher go with these people, let's say in forest, if it's possible, yes. Yeah? So uh, if uh, or some park, yes, yeah? to to create some atmosphere, let's say, yes. Yeah? So to go deeper to some other uh, other conditions, let's say, yeah, according uh, close to game. Uh, it will be much better because, uh, of course, uh, if 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 you know somebody as a friend, it's very difficult to uh, to make some other connection uh, with this person. Yes, so I mean in some other field. Um, let's say I hope I answered the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if I can only add one thing to uh, that with teachers, because. Uh, I remember that a few months ago I had this discussion, you know, how to even go to school that you want to provide something, yes. Uh, and we came up with the situation that sometimes it's important also to just talk with these teachers, yes, and explain what you will be doing because they also feel responsible for the students. So, and sometimes, you know, the head teacher of the school and the head teacher is going to this teacher and it's like okay somebody will come to your class and provide something there and they feel a little bit strange weird so sometimes maybe because of that there is a bit later bad experience with these teachers yes because you didn't came to them you can explain what you will be doing how you will be doing even the methods okay and tell them what also you are expecting from them in that case yes so we are meeting the teacher wants maybe something from you but you also want something from teacher so don't interrupt when for example when i'm talking respect me etc so you know like human to human normal talk also before that yeah, mm -hmm. so also have a little a workshop of... with the teacher to separate. Yeah, yeah. Just talk to them knowing each a lot other, of people, expectations. A lot of people are forgetting about this. And, you know, I can imagine that if I would be a teacher and some random person that I don't know is coming to my class of students, I also would feel like, okay, nice, you're doing nice, but what are you doing here? And why you are doing here? And why, like, why this is happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yes. Thank you. 
what I want to tell uh, according to this also uh, sorry uh, teachers in schools um, I, I, I'm strongly strongly believe that uh, use work uh, outside the school really because um, school <laughs> school it's school use work it's use work yeah. Yeah? of course sometimes uh, we, we we speak about that uh, um, a school have some use work and so on depend on the school also but i'm totally sure that a uh, school and the youth center is different institutions let's say and different and have different tasks and goals so uh, i mean youth center use ngo use foundations and so on so yeah uh, <clears throat> and uh, in this case i uh, i i want to tell that uh, not need to be said from the school yeah i mean said that oh uh, you uh, you say that we don't have use work and so on i think uh school it's a really good partner uh in use work yeah so uh, really if uh, school understands their role uh, as a, in the process of um let's say personal development of the personality yeah so what is the role of school and what is the role of uh, let's say other fields <laughs> uh, not, not only school in life of uh, of learner yeah so uh, of personality yeah so if we speak about the let's say healthy school so when when a teacher understands that uh, we are in school we we have these goals and this is for example foundation and geos youth centers and other institutions uh, and players of the field who who also uh, work with young people so we also think uh, i think this connection will be much better so school allow uh, let's say take this uh, young people to to go to your center and your center also support school because they also have uh, some other uh, opportunities to support some young leaders uh, young people and so on so in this case uh, i think if uh, school and the uh, youth um, organization have opportunity to to build this bridge to build this connection mm -hmm. it will be much better so and i think uh, all goals uh, of this uh, uh, and role play games as well educational role play games it's also to to build this connection so to to understand that uh, young people not uh, their life not only in school and uh, not only school super important it's also uh, civic um, uh, civic society competence also important yes yeah? civic competence also important and this civic competence also built not only inside the school but also inside when when people engage yeah so uh, not only in at school possible to care about uh, <laughs> care game yeah about forest yeah about ecological thing yeah school also support ecological topic yeah some subjects some uh, maybe some uh, actions to 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 save something but uh, if a school connect with uh, some NGO, for example, and uh, in this case, it will be much stronger because, yeah. uh, I mean, this um, actions, this some, um, I don't know, <laughs> actions, ecological actions will be much stronger. And then in this case, this educational role play games have opportunity to show how to possible to to um, to receive some of this experience, let's say, from uh, educational. Yeah, understand what you mean. They have different yeah. goals. They should work together, but they yeah. should uh, not to be overlapped in terms of yeah, yeah. not concurrence. Yeah. Because I'm not yeah. seeing that uh, in the world con uh, com uh, con concurrence, yeah, competitors. Yeah, yeah course, so yeah. I I think uh, everybody unique. Every institution also unique, and uh, need to care about this uh, unique yeah, and uh, and to find some connecting points. Let's say and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I also like wanted to uh, add to this because uh, for me this was important. Katya already mentioned this. Yes, not to come to the school with the attitude that oh no, again this school, again this teachers, again someone, again someone. It's you know if you are going with the bad mood and with negative thoughts, it's big possibility that this will happen because people will can see this. Yes. I know sometimes can be hard if you had several situations before, but not every school is the same. Not every person is the <laughs> same. So yeah, don't yeah. come with like, oh, oh, not again. I have to come here again. 
And uh, second thing, if you maybe you know that there will be some problem, if someone uh, maybe you can also try to talk to some student council, maybe because you know student councils in a lot of schools are have good connection with teachers with people who are working there. So maybe sometimes if, if they are like good, if you know that they are not, you know, some most popular kid in the school that is not doing anything, but is just there, then maybe it's also good sometimes because seriously in some schools, they have a lot of things to say and they can also put, not pressure, but can say nice things about this that will also already change the attitudes of the second uh side yeah. so you know your your positive uh attitudes their positive attitudes will meet so this will be bigger possibility that everything will be good and went fine mm -hmm. what i want to add also uh usually what i do if uh I understand that I need to work, for example, with some uh, universities or school. Uh, I work firstly with teachers, yeah, so with staff who work there. So, uh, for example, if uh, you want to um, uh, to have loyalty, uh, let's say, um, possible to play this game uh, firstly with teachers. And in this case, they understand that uh, it's interesting and it's important and uh, it's really can have opportunity to to receive some experience good experience and it's also possible to make this connection uh, between um, uh, institution and school or university or college or something. yeah i get it nice mm -hmm. so Pablo, you had any question regarding schools or because I'm done with schools, I'm okay. No, no, with the schools <laughs> as well. <laughs> also because there is, I think, one of the focuses, but not the main focus of the project. So it's just one setting which is interesting yeah. and full of potential, but there is a lot of applications we thought of also discussing. Between yeah, us. and I have one more thing about the briefing and this whole thing, because I know I made that mistake once. And I will now have this in mind and I will not do this mistake that is connected with washing. So in role play games, don't do washing before the debriefing, like the start of uh, that. Because uh, already uh, Katya, uh, like, teach me that, uh, share this knowledge with me, yes, that the washing should be after this concrete experience and feeling phase. Mm -hmm. So maybe even in the middle of the, the briefing, yes. So the, they have still this feeling as these characters, as the game, how it was, yes. Because if you work them, they are already kind of cutting this part off, mm -hmm. yes. That's interesting. So, by washing, you mean the de-rolling phase? Yes, okay, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Because usually I've seen the de-rolling done before the debriefing. Uh, that's usually the, the take I have on derolling. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's because to debrief you need to have a little bit of you know a clear mind, a less uh, engaged mm -hmm. in the game, you know, without accusing it. But you stole my I don't know my my cherry blossoms, and uh, so usually but what I've seen is doing the derolling before the debriefing. So how is your experience? Mm -hmm. regarding uh, depend of the also uh, of the direction of, uh, of uh, let's say, um, which direction of debriefing you have. I mean, uh, um, according to uh, uh, what is the concept, yeah? uh, according to this way. Mm. Uh, from this concept which we uh, speak today, um, <clears throat> yes, uh, as Lukas already said, uh, so uh, much better to take this first stage. After this, this first stage to make this debrief uh, washing part. Yes, yeah? so go to from row. Sometimes some concept of um, make this uh, re rolling or washing process. Um, some of them before, some of them after all debriefing. Um, from a uh, psychology side, I uh, prefer to do it, um, as already said in this concept, after the first part. And especially uh, if um, you feel 
uh, that people super deeper uh, go and one uh, one uh, washing not enough possible to do as well uh, next one a little bit later yeah even after the briefing but it's not um, depend depend on the of course depend on the group depend depend on the game because some games super deeper and people take it super personally and uh, uh, some experience let's say um, was super uh, super deep for them yeah so when they need uh, need to do it because after some role play games if um, people uh, take this role to home let's say uh, they even uh, have opportunity to go with this role few days few weeks even yeah so from psychology side uh, much better to do uh, to do like this yeah so after this first stage but of course depend on the game and as i said uh, uh, majority of uh, facilitator even don't provide the debriefing all part debriefing and i yeah. think it's one of the biggest mistake because in yeah. this case um, in this case why why we play about this game yeah. because some games possible even don't finish because it's not about the finishing game to be honest it's about experience it's about the process it's about uh, the uh, from my point of view the de debriefing part much important so if you uh, if you have some limits of time so i prefer not finish game but have debriefing mm -hmm. <laughs> so because this is a, a, one of the point of of this so it's not about points or winners or some something like this yeah, of course yeah. yeah and that's why also it's important to know because um, that was this question what if somebody was silent uh, during the whole game and after the the briefing these people sometimes even if, if they were silent can have better reflection and better understanding than these people that were very loud and talking a lot of uh, even i had the situation that person didn't say a word during the debriefing but uh, after the session finished came to me and said that that was like for him uh, or her, yes, it was like very good reflection, but uh, you know, sometimes it's also a language barrier. Yes, so, so don't know how to express in not native language all of these things and still don't feel comfortable with sharing. Of course, it's important to build this, uh, you know, sphere that people, even when they are making mistake, they can express, but for some people it can be hard. So for them, it's uh, so it's important um, because you know sometimes people are very loud, but they are not saying too much too much important things. Yes, or they are saying you are in the reflection part, and they are saying about what happened. Yes, uh, so sorry about emotions. They're talking about emotions, and they are talking about totally different things. So it's also important, you know, to manage this situation. But sometimes they don't have good reflection because they don't allow this. Mm -hmm. yeah, they talk even too much yeah so they and they derail and don't take time to actually... yeah you know you need to manage them but sometimes right. they they are the, sometimes you meet this person that you know they can't reflect because you know they have some barrier or something like that so sometimes the silent ones can have much better inside reflection also what i want to add it's not uh, connecting with what uh, what lucas said uh, not about only language barrier. Okay, we speak about language barrier if we speak about the international groups. Yeah, when we speak about Erasmus projects, uh, some other program projects. Uh, but if we speak about the na native language, yeah, sometimes um, also difficulties because some people don't have opportunity to uh, diagnostic their feelings. Yeah, mm -hmm. diagnostic their behavior. They um, don't have, uh, uh, didn't have before experience to speak about their behavior. Let's say, I mean, not about with parents. Yeah, I, I see. Uh, I mean, uh, when they speak, for example, in group, uh, um, people whom they know. Yeah, I mean, uh, as Fabio and also Manuela said about the uh, people from class. Yeah, so they 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 learn uh, each other every day, and uh, they go to school every day, and they know each other uh, sometimes better than they know parents even. Yeah, and uh, in this case, 
uh, already some let's say roles or status in the group already set yeah uh, and uh, sometimes they are in these people with these people they have they didn't have opportunity to go out, uh, go out from this uh, let's say role yeah so uh, from their uh, perspective yeah? yeah so but if they go to some other group their behavior a little bit different and uh, they they understand uh, understand themselves much better because mm -hmm. some other people uh, give them much much more freedom yeah sometimes and uh, also need to, need to think in uh, in uh, specific cases about it and that's why i, I told that uh, much better to mix groups yeah so much better to as much as of course as if it's if it's possible if not possible what what we can do yeah so yeah of course uh, yeah um actually um Yeah, give me a second. I'm searching for the question. Yeah, I also wrote stuff here. They're all like one on top of each other. And <laughs> that's why sometimes you look at me and I watch the other screen because I'm writing. Yeah, okay. I lost it. Just give me. Uh -huh. and if you have a question, I will. Yeah, I have a couple. I mean, you just mm -hmm. uh, because we talk about role play games and experiential learning. Um, I would like to know in your experience if there are some topics which are more suitable for. Uh, role play games and some other not. I give you the, the the problem that we had and you know about, which is that in this project and in general technical things such as ecology, environmental things, they seem to be harder than purely emotional things like inclusion or you know, I don't know emotions. As an ecologist, for me, that's just the emotion department. I don't know. But uh, do you think that role play games are still a good tool even to um, communicate regarding these topics, these more technical topics or something? Or do you think there are some issues that should be tackled in order to make those topics relevant to role play games methods? I'm totally sure that we have opportunity possible to gamify everything. Uh, everything specific. yeah no role play games specifically because game if i understand but role play games seem a bit harder if if you take a role play game um i think it's uh one of the methods let's say yeah uh to uh, to gamify yeah so and uh, and that's all so you you have opportunity to uh to role play i think with every topic really uh, I I now I even not uh, have opportunity to answer which topic not relevant to role play. Yeah, the hard ones I, I in my mind are the very technical ones. Uh, like you have to take away some emotional parts. Uh, role play games are mostly about roles, which is mm -hmm. like an emotional thing. But in some very technical issues, it's very hard to balance. It, it was for us, at least in developing, to balance the information part which is a little bit of a dumping like you need information to understand it and uh, you know more role thing yeah. side of things sometimes uh, uh, sometimes possible to uh, inside the game gain some information mm -hmm. so inside game so if you okay you 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 play some role you don't know who is this for example okay. we can i can explain uh, some uh, you never, uh, never been uh, the member of uh, youth city council. Well, let's mm -hmm. imagine, yeah. But you, you go to the some project and uh, you uh, jump to the uh, as a member of uh, or even uh, head of the youth city council, yeah. And in this case, you you have uh, you only can guess, let's say, yeah, yeah, how it's possible to, yeah, who is this person, yeah. But it's also a learning process. It's also educational process. Even if you play, uh, let's say bad. Let's say let me say that bad. So um, some uh, let's imagine all people in th in that group, yeah, uh, was a member of U uh, City Council. But only you and you you receive the role of uh, head of this. Mm -hmm. But as as I told before, you have debriefing. 
Yeah. And this person have opportunity to say sometimes we take a role which we don't know to play. And maybe, uh, and what in this role play uh, possible to show? Some leader possible to consult uh, consult with member of the uh, city council, yeah? So it's one of way of the playing in this type of game. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them have opportunity, if if you head of the uh, city council, you you don't consult. You only play how you understand, yeah? Some of them, for example, mm, uh, make some decision or something uh, like this, some indifferent way. So depend on, on the person. And it's also an uh, important thing because it's also connecting with learning styles. Sometimes person who learn, uh, who, for example, acting style, this person start to act. Yeah, some uh, some start to acting and not uh, super much to think, <laughs> only mm -hmm. acting, uh, going forward. And uh, we need to to some results, and we need to as much as possible organize things and so on. But some of uh, the people start to consulting, and it's different uh, uh, type of uh, learning style. And it's also possible to uh, in the in debriefing part, it's also possible to open this. Yeah, and. It's also interesting. Uh, uh, I think uh, it's not a problem when a person don't have uh, information before about this topic. Inside the game, possible to receive it. Inside the people with whom you play, depend on the game, of course. Depend on the uh, conditions and uh, uh, what uh, what we need to play. But I'm totally sure we'll play possible to uh, to 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 play with all topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I yeah. found the question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I just add one thing? Yeah, sure, to, of course. To, to, to that, because like for me also, this hard stuff, hard information uh, can be sell as a part of some mechanic. Yes, but, you know, not to, if we are talking all of this in experiential learning, you can just put these teasers, yes, some import, most important information. And it's not problem, yes, later after the, the briefing spent half hour, for example, explaining them, yes? So mm -hmm. they already know, have this background, but later you can spend this half hour explaining deeper to this, if this is your like goal that they will know because this is important. Yeah. Uh, so, because in the mechanic, you can sell them. To, un to unlock something, they need to learn this or, I don't know, this is part of the world, yes? Important information, there is just you are selling this to them. But for me, it should be a teaser, not, yeah. I don't yeah, know, a book about them. Yeah. And later, after the debriefing, explain them deeply why this is important, yes? Especially in this ecology, when there are a lot of things that you need to combine yeah. together to explain something. Um, what I want to add also uh, is that uh, possible uh, possible also um, to provide some uh, sessions. Yeah. So what I mean session. Yeah. Some uh, presentation possible to provide. Maybe some statistic. After this, after after all these uh, things possible to or give some materials. Even if mm -hmm. you don't want to provide, you can give some materials. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some leaflets or some something like this. So, uh, depend of of course of your opportunities, uh, abilities, and so on. So, um, and also depend of your goal. Yeah. So what what you want to achieve. So if uh, you work in educational project and uh, goal not provide only game. Yeah. Provide uh, some raise raise awareness. Yeah. Raise conscious or something like this. So uh, I much prefer to close this experiential learning cycle, yeah? So to give them information, uh, as Lukas already said, yeah? So, so it's uh, some in some way. So, I mean, uh, not only to, to think that, okay, after our perfect game, these uh, young people, of course, go to, to the forest. No, no uh, de 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 depend on, on the conditions, as I said. If you play in park, for example, in the game, uh, after this, you can uh, connect that. Uh, okay, uh, everything finished. Let's 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 look around. Uh, what you see, yeah. So you see the trees. Uh, so sometimes we not uh, pay attention to this, yeah. So sometimes we don't uh, uh, we don't pay attention to uh, to uh, to some uh, uh, schmetti. Schmetti. Uh, 
uh, trash, sorry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some trash uh, around us, yes. Yeah? So, but if we will be, we'll be conscious, so sometimes it's uh, need, need be some some small actions, yes. Yeah? So it's not need to to go to some uh, promotion of forest, yes. Yeah? So our yeah. hands, yes. Yeah? So it's some sometimes it's small things, or maybe even after this you have opportunity to organize some excursion to a forest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a yeah, so, yeah, so it's like yeah. uh, small things what you can provide and to, to close this experiential learning cycle. Yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah. I, I prefer uh, this, uh, to, to be honest, <laughs> to <laughs> speak about educational games. Of course. Yeah, and uh, also you can, you know, always you can uh, also add them if you if your goal is to pass this information that they will gain more knowledge in this topic, you can, uh, in ecology, yes, because this project is about ecology, you can also share with them some for good for recommendations, some movies, some YouTube channels that are in that topic, but are good for recommendation, yes, because, yeah. you know, uh, if they are, we already know that teenagers are spending a lot of time in social media, so maybe sometimes they can use that time for something that will, you know, that that they will receive some knowledge about, uh, about this, because, uh, you know, they are not reading a lot of things right now, I think, so, you know, you can start this in this way, some YouTube channel that is doing this in the interesting topic, if you have something with some movie. And later at the end, some, okay, if you are want to go even deeper to that, here is one book, second book, some article about something. But for me, it's also good to share with this, you know, social media or sort of some web page or something like that, that is... Yeah. Mm, like that yeah i understand yeah, yeah you don't have to put do the lesson there you can just indicate the the, the road after that yeah yeah but in that case you can you need to like sell them because you know because only for me only putting them and giving oh here, here you no, go no, 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 of course. if you have yeah, like for, from my experience and what i would do i, I would probably not open yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, later course, if yeah. somebody would just show me something okay uh yeah. Here you go. What you mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, you but motivate you them during the game, and then you just they may they some of them at least may be interested in you. Yeah, you can more. even like show them some maybe some you know short part of this that this will be also clear for them yeah. that later they will use that time that they are already spending on YouTube not for some famous YouTubers but for something that is like yeah. more more about knowledge and gaining and growing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah. about the question. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, Fabia. Because this question, you see, uh, very, very, very... Yeah, funny. yeah, no, I'm joking. Um, actually, this is more about experience. Um, have you ever been stopped by someone with a safety tool? And how did you react? Do you mean interrupt somebody? Yeah, that uh, you are playing, you are in, you actually are in the main phase of the game. And mm -hmm. someone used the safety tool for stop the game because you are saying or that they are playing something that is, you know, mm -hmm. not uh, confident. Or... Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, um, what I want to tell is that uh, I prefer to give uh, freedom to participants, to be honest, in a role play game. Yeah, so I prefer to create these conditions that they uh receive this uh, as much as possible this experience yes uh, how they understand so uh they they receive as they understand but of course uh, in my practice was some cases when i need to interrupt but it was few of them when it's about the uh, safety so some aggressive participants ah, okay uh, or something like this so in this case yes so uh also need to understand that uh some people even um let's say uh don't understand where they where they are yeah so i mean uh, uh, if we speak about uh, that you uh, receive participants from some institution uh, sometimes let's say i don't want to say only in school this situation sometimes some organization sometimes some other institution to want to play with you they they some some of them uh, had experience with you to play in your game and they say oh it's a good game I, you need to play and they are provide some uh, game in this day and this and so we organize some group and 20 people with 20 people yeah so and they they bring these people but 
these people even don't know what is what is about what is a game it, it, it will be game or not game you know so they expect the board game it's uh, it's role play you know so it's some other expectation and some people not feel comfortable sometimes and uh, also possible be aggressive and if it's disturb other participants in safety way of course yeah it's need to interrupt because some possible so if it's like a touches or something like this so it's like uh some in bad way let's say uh, go but usually uh, um, of course if it's like uh, information or if it's like uh, deeper go into role it's other things so it's like a personal condition i mean some how participants understand this yeah so it's okay so we have all of us have different level of understanding everything so every, everything we understand in some other way so it's so it's okay so yeah and also like if you had this for me if you had this situation that somebody was aggressive or had some you know maybe not mental breakdown or you know but go, went very emotional and something happened for me it's also really important later we know when you stop if you will stop the game etc etc you know talk to this person you manage that not to later like like because for me it's like not come back to the game like nothing happened yeah so don't be like oh okay yeah now everything is good let's play let's continue but maybe you can ask participants if they want to talk about this yes so like start talking to them earlier speak with them because maybe it's also some experience yes another experience for them but not to be like oh, okay nothing happened let's continue about difficult situation maybe it's also connect with your uh, question fabio uh i remember that uh, i have few cases uh uh, with panic attack but also remember that i said in the beginning so some of my games psychology games yeah so it's about a little bit different direction so and uh, some of them super deep yeah and uh, yeah. it's also role play and uh, some of them of course uh, if participants have uh, some traumatic experience and some super deep traumatic experience and uh, it's uh, sometimes happen yeah so I re remember a couple of uh, situation with this panic attack, but it's also a role of facilitator. Uh, so um, to to cope with this, yes. Yeah? So it's not uh, uh, need to stop the game and everybody need to see. It. <laughs> so sometimes depend on the also case, yes. Yeah? So in my case, in that cases, these participants go out of the room, yes. Yeah? So in this case, you go to this with this participant, yeah, and game uh, game uh, game continuing because in this process process not stopping here. Yeah? So they are in role, they playing, and some person. Have, felt bad, better yeah so and uh, of course if uh, some uh, not some panic attack when this person uh, go on the floor yeah, and uh, and um, and that's all yeah so it's other cases uh, of course these cases I didn't had but uh, cases with, when participants leave the room uh, I have twice I mean but about the health issue yeah so they they receive this panic attack in this case I also leave the room and stay with this, yeah, this sure. person to uh, to understand the, about the help yeah and what about the uh, deep um, let's say what what is the case of this if I have opportunity to help or if some other, other things yeah so maybe I need to 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 call to ambulance yeah so maybe I need to 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 go to medicine or something like this oh, okay. yeah this is yeah. more you know <laughs> so maybe it's a very difficult situation if you need an ambulance or something like that no I was ju uh, just curious about the um, you know the say do you plan to have some safety tool during the game? Because, for example, there are games like Wonder Room or so on that has some um, safety tool. So you can, for example, you can use this card to stop the the, sh the scene, the game, because it's too you know emotional for you in this moment. So it's like a tool that you can actually use. You mm -hmm. yeah, you tend to use something. Games. No yeah, safety safe. mechanics, actually, we didn't implement any safety mechanics. Not yet. Not we were yet. thinking about. Yeah, yeah. we are that. going to implement mm -hmm. some safety mechanics. So that's, that's also an interesting question for the... Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I understand question and this important question depend on the game because I uh, I think not all game have to have to have some stop card or some stop mechanic or something like this because depend on the game for example in care game I'm not sure that uh, this game have to have some stop yeah so for example stop and so it's it's my personal no, 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 no. yeah yeah no of course uh, yeah, we need it <laughs> Yeah, but depend of 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 the d d deeper. Yeah, so of course, if this game about the some interaction with body, yeah, for example, interaction with some something. So in these games, of course, because some role play game also connecting with the body, and also important thing or some uh, some uh, communication in some way. Some role play um, game have. Um, uh, have some let's say roles what is a shouting about uh, some 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 player shouting to another player or players yeah so and uh, in this case um, possible to provide this yeah because depend on that because it's also connecting to to to, to safety to body safety to psychology safety and so on yeah uh, but uh, I'm totally sure need uh, all time diagnosis yeah in a case uh, to um, to some game if you want to provide this possible I mean uh, not only about care game I in the future yeah so I'm sure. totally sure you will provide you will develop some uh, also more and more games in the future so um i think it's possible to put in a, a variation part yes yeah? so depend on the group target group for example if you speak about the much younger audience yes yeah? so possible uh, to put some safety yeah? or if we speak about uh, if we play for example uh, outside yeah so in park or it's, it's depend on the game of course so possible to put something so because sometimes uh, uh, in outside area possible to to describe this uh, safety rules about the some other people going here yeah? so you you put your stuff here yeah? so some maybe some person need to care about this stuff or something like this yeah so you also need to need to think about this so what but uh, I don't have in uh, in my games uh, stop card or stop symbol i know some games have but uh, in my uh, games i don't uh, i don't use it now, usually in the games i when i when i facilitate games and so on i tend to per, i prefer to have the safety tool separate and take the safety tool that i need knowing the participants and the condition and the game so i don't think they need to be embedded in the game so mm -hmm. if I'm playing a very simple one page, I don't think it needs safety tools. I already know the safety tools because I have a safety tools guide. Mm -hmm. Even in care, I think we could either say there are safety tools you can check. The only one I would add to the game because it's not super emotional, but there is still some trading and stuff. And we've seen what happens with tradings in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the bigger. Uh, just the possibility to uh, raise one hand and leave the room or leave the group for a moment without anything like asking if they need a break from the tension. That is something that I usually do. And that is like saying it is safe for you. Just say to the facilitator, I say that when we start, it is safe for you to just leave a moment, raising a hand, showing that everything is okay. You just need a break so that, uh, you know, you feel that you're not forced into it too much. Because, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes in groups you can have overly pushy people mm -hmm. and stuff. So maybe someone just wants to feel free to. You you, know. if, if if you speak that it's safety tool, yeah, yeah. because I uh, a little bit sometimes uh, see safety tool as uh, Fabio said, some stop game or some uh, not touch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, or something. Uh, or some uh, care about stuff or some, uh, I don't know, if you need some fire, uh, firefighter, let's say. Uh, uh, well, that's, I think, that's not what you usually mean by safety mechanics. Uh, no, no, in my games, I don't need that. That's why I, <laughs> that's, that's why I tell that. But about the you can leave the room. I uh, um, in my games possible to leave the room and they not need to tell. So the, why I don't um, say they not need to tell because it's also attention from facilitators. So if you see some participants leave the room, you also need to to go to and understand and check what happened. Yeah. So why these participants to leave? Sometimes it's uh, this person go to toilet. Yeah. Some sometimes this person go to. 
uh, to call maybe some yeah, super urgent thing sometimes as i told you before so sometimes it's panic attack is also possible yeah. but before i prepare that i say so if you if you feel something uncomfortable you can lose a game yeah, yeah but right. uh in this case maybe i don't have this like uh, hard experience games that's why i don't need it so uh i much prefer this safety process i mean uh, and my games about this as much as possible safety so i'm not uh, about this uh, you need to fight with somebody or something like this so that's why um, i i i don't uh, i don't use it uh, like stop card or something I, like I mean stop card for all game yeah? Yeah, yeah yeah sure ironically the worst stuff happens when there are no fightings in my experience because fighting is <laughs> yeah. when you are there and looking at more intimate stuff that is really when you competition yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sometimes game also possible to uh, co competitive competitive yes yeah, yeah, yeah. so and uh, some people uh, understand competitive as a main uh, goal of the game and uh, uh, sometimes people don't understand the uh, game not only competition yeah so all game not only competition yeah of course some of them uh, like a main, uh, main thing but i think all game about experience and go all game about the understanding the rules all game understanding myself yeah so it's not only a competitive competition but also depend on the uh, uh let's say role of players because it's also important if uh, we go deeper and deeper so some uh, player have some role some some i mean concept and uh, and so on so and um also, it's I think it's topic for another webinar. But uh, also uh, important thing. So, um, if we speak educational games, so we understand the goal of the game. Yeah. So we understand that uh, this game not need to be a uh, press of the participants. So because press of the participants, uh, they have everywhere in real life yes yeah? so in our case we need to create conditions or story or how you wish to call it to um, to receive some experience yes yeah? so but not in the hard rock <laughs> yeah, process yeah. let's say um, it's my also personal opinion to understand so if i receive this experience i, I don't want to say that only soft experience very interesting and so no but i mean to to create as much as possible opportunity to uh, to 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 understand in the end uh, what happened yes yeah? so to understand to to have opportunity to explain your behavior to explain your feelings yes yeah? so uh, to 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 give this um, space to to reflect yes and uh, in this case uh, this cycle will be closing, yeah. So I mean closed, and uh, in this case, I think um, quality of experience and even open next door to understand uh, what I want to learn. Yeah, maybe I want to go to in I don't know if uh, after care game uh, possible. Maybe uh, some of participants want to go to some ecological NGO and uh, ask or help something here yeah, or be volunteer something. In the, some topic or maybe some of them want to to read about the forest or some other things yeah so it's also like next door to uh to to next information yeah next window no door makes sense all right i think we had a nice moment i hope you enjoyed it. i enjoyed it personally i like well, being here thanks. with you talking so i guess we are done for this and then we'll meet for the final webinar next week or something Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can stop uh, recording here. Yes.